Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Today we will discuss the curriculum of grade 9th biology and uh, we will discuss all the chapters starting from chapter number 1 to chapter number 9. So first we will start with the chapter number 9 that is transport. First, we will see the major concepts and what are the learning outcomes in this chapter. So basically, we will discuss two types of transportation here. That is, first, transport in plants and second is transport in men. So as the chapter has already been covered and you know all the basic terminologies we have discussed in the chapter, here are some questions that have been summed up. First question is conceptualize transport and its needs. Explain the internal structure of root and root hair. Describe how roots take up water and mineral salts by active and passive absorption. Define transpiration and relate this process with cell surface. Next, uh, we how we relate transpiration with stomatal opening and closing. Describe temperature, wind and humidity as the factors affecting the rate of transpiration. Describe the significance of transpiration. Describe transpiration as a necessary word and relate wilting with excessive transpiration. Next, we will discuss or see the topic that is the pathway of water and food in stem. Already been discussed. Explain the movement of water in terms of transpiration of food. Explain the mechanism of food translocation by the theory of pressure flow mechanism. Now, after the transport in plant, next we will discuss about transport in men. How the transportation occur in men with the help of blood. So, the topics that we will cover include the list, the functions of components of blood. Next one, describe the blood groups in ABO and RH blood group systems with reference to the presence or absence of antigen and antibodies. Next, we will see how the risk of compatibility in blood transfusion occur due to antigen and antibody interaction. After the transfusion, we will see the appropriate donors and recipients for each of the four blood groups A, B, A, B and O. Next, state the signs and symptoms, causes and treatments of diseases of bl the blood. The two diseases of blood we will discuss in this chapter that is thalassemia and leukemia. Next topic is human heart. We will discuss the major pathway of blood through circulatory system. After discussing the major pathway of blood through circulatory system, we will see the external and internal structure of human heart in detail. Describe the circulation of blood through atria and ventricles of heart, explaining the role of bicuspid and tricuspid and semilunar valves. Describe the low pressure circulation to the lungs and the high pressure circulation to the body tissues and relate these differences to different functions of two circuits. Next, how the heart is structurally adapted to its functions. Next, define the terms heartbeat, heart rate and pulse rate related to heart all these. Next, we come towards blood vessels. First, we will compare the structure and function of an artery, vein and capillary. Then, describe the transfer of materials between capillaries and tissue fluid. Will be discussed. Next, now we have the general plan of human blood circulatory system. In this topic, we will cover the origin, location and target areas of main arteries. That is pulmonary artery, aorta, with hepatic artery, renal arteries and femoral arteries. Next, we will describe the originating areas, locations and target heart chamber of main veins that is pulmonary veins, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava with femoral veins, 
renal veins and hepatic vein next describe the contributions of ibn al nafis and william harvey in revealing the knowledge about the circulation of blood in human body and last in this chapter we will discuss the problems or disorders related to heart that are known as cardiovascular disorders and also related to blood vessels so we will define cardiovascular disorders and differentiate between atherosclerosis and arteriosclerosis next state the causes treatments and preventions of myocardial infarction these will be discussed and the last if we see a uh, student technology and science connection in this chapter we will see that how vascular surgery is one of the major field in the career next identify that cardiovascular disorders are the major cause of sudden non accidental deaths so students all the questions of chapter number 9 that is transport of grade 9 has been discussed note down these questions on your copies and their answers will be discussed in the next video so questions came came in different forms but basically we are trying to sum up all the questions that are related to different topics present in the unit so thank you students